Uh, howdy, kids. Dr. Freedom here with the Times from Dr. News. News from in and around the universe that may or may not affect you on some strange weirdness level that could drive you insane. Oh, yeah. Somebody caught me on the comment box a little while ago. Yeah, that apparently uh, there was a couple of guest stars who were listed as being episode one who are actually in episode two. Sorry about that. That sometimes happens. I was going off based off sources once again who had snapped those on set. And apparently they got their episodes mixed. And like I said, I, I hate when I you know, get stuff wrong. It does happen. But you see, the problem is that a lot of the doors I used to have open to me are slammed shut. And the reason being was after the Series 8 debacle, they really, really clamped down on leaks and spoilers. I'm talking to the point I think that there were actually termination notices issued. I feel sorry for that jerkoid who actually ran that server, you know, running out of BBC, you know, worldwide latin branch or whatever down there in florida who put the episodes on an open server for episode eight for like the first five episodes oh I, he was looking for a job and i bet he's still trying to make tenure at the local kindergarten but let's get into what news we have now apparently according to some twitter sources and once again if true they are going to be filming the christmas episode next after they finish filming this particular episode they're on now so an interesting lineup mix for what's going on, I guess that means Bill, you know, Pearl Mackie is going to have a few weeks off because, you know, as far as we know, she is not involved with the Christmas special in any way, shape, or form. But it does make you wonder who is and if we're going to be getting a you know, press release soon because if they're going to do any location filming, bam, bam, bickety, bam, you know that's going to hit the internet faster than, you know, grease lightning. But let's go ahead and take a look at what we do have. And there's also more interesting news coming up for October because Segway! That's right. Spinoff is going to set the start in October. Now, according to the latest set, all right, blah, 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 blah. I don't care. We already know it's set at Cole Hill School and that there's going to be a blah, blah, blah. And, you know, Catherine Kelly, we know all about that already. And, of course, the Empire Magazine thing, you may want to go check that out as well. Um, it's going on a sort of time travel tinge, Buffy the Vampire Slayer with more aliens and fewer hell beasts. That doesn't excite me right there. Please do not say this is going to be Doctor Who Buffy. Because then I'll be really worried. But, of course, they're not giving any specific date as yet. Now, when that happens, well, you know, we'll be full find out, and I'll send it to you. Okay. There's the Empire Magazine thing I was telling you about where they were talking to Patrick Ness. There's another photo running around there. I could not find it at the time, but it has to do with his uh, one book. And this is, like, an interesting photo right here because somebody ain't looking all that happy, and somebody's got a gun. All right. That can't turn out well. All right. Now, this flashes back to the other day when David Suchet was on the on the on um, on set down in Cardiff. And what's really neat about it is there's like a one-minute video right here. Don't worry. Nothing spoilery. You can't hear any dialogue. And also, you, it's just like, you know, blah, blah, see, uh, in scene. So it's not like it's going to give anything major away or anything like that, so don't worry about it. Now, the, the, the veteran actor is playing the landlord in an episode written by Dr. Foster writer Mike Bartlett, which is due to air on 2017. Now, as far as we know, this is episode four. All right. It's not known yet whether he'll be a friend or enemy of the doctor and his new companion, Bill, who was also spotted filming in the Poncana era of Cardiff on Wednesday. Now, and like I guess had some really good photos here. David Suchet, you know, flashing me back to the Poirot days. Really nice photos if you want to go snag them, and you can because guess what? Uh, if you hang around this long and you're a new viewer, links will always be below in the description box for each article you see here. So that way if you want to go look it up for yourself, and bam, there it is. And like I said, I, some really nice photos there of you know, Pearl Mackey. Seems to be she prefers the uh, jeans and the pants to the, the skirts, but still looks good in one. Okay. And once again, David Touche, I'm a little into it, you know. So, apparently, allegedly, they're saying Mark Gatiss is going to be pending one episode this series. I have yet to see anything really definitely confirming that. Has there been? Okay, it's been so long. The news is getting so jumbled because now we're just finally starting to get some flooding in. All right. And if you want to see some more photos. All right, he basically copied them. Oh, gosh, sorry about that. I thought he had some new photos on here. They basically copied them out of the previous article, so. But I should still give you a thing for Matthew Horwood Photography. He you know, does a really good job, really good set, usually some good set photos. I thought he had more on there. I was looking at those earlier, and I forgot to take the article off my bed. Okay, 
And once again, the premise for the Doctor Who Science spinoff class is basically Torchwood. And we've heard this argument before. It's been going around for quite a while. But at the same time, it does bear some fruit. You see, the thing is I can't figure out is all the quote-unquote time travel activity around um, Coal Hill School. The only time travel activity was done by the Doctor. He's only been there not even a handful of times in the history of the show. Well, um, way called and even then like the first doctor landed at totter's yard colin baker's doctor landed at totter's yard um i don't remember them actually ever landing the targets in the school so whatever time travel activity is going on you know who knows but i'm sure they'll explain it when we see the show pop up now moving on i uh, some people got a weird vibe out of this one doctor who steve moffat names the bells of saint john as its quote unquote most reliably average episode Oh my gosh! Doesn't it seem like a thousand years ago when she finally, you know, joined the school, you know, joined the you know, officially the show. You know, she we had the little thing where she popped up before that, you know, an asshole of the Daleks. But um, yeah, Bells of St. John. Mm, I don't know. It just reminded me too much of other Doctor Who episodes I've seen before. Yeah, you know, and the Spoonheads. Oh God, who forgot? Yeah, anyone remember the Spoonheads? All right. And lastly, here's a little good news for you. Doctor Who is the most watched TV show on Amazon Prime Video as fans await the new season. So, you know, nice to know everybody's hanging in there, you know, waiting. So, once again, not a whole lot going on other than so there is some filming supposed to be going on this week. There were no set photos for the last couple of days. Um, you know, could not, did not find any, did not see any. Otherwise, I'd be sharing them with you or showing you where to go get them. Um, like I said, uh, Sky Dark is now complete if you're into Dr. Freedom and Eric. And if you, if you really do love that program, please go give the videos a or the audios a like, okay? It just gives me that little bit much more inspiration because I, I have a whole bunch of people who still don't like me who are going down, down thumbing the Dr. Who and Dr. Freedom and Eric videos. It's like, come on, give me a little positive support if you enjoyed the story or, you know, if you like the idea of it, you know. Uh, it, it's not the most fantastic story you've ever heard, but it was an hour and 51 minutes of programming I created and I felt great about. And I even got Sophie Alder to do a special appearance and I was really you know, happy, you know, she was able to do that. Also, yeah, the sequel, I am writing it right now. I'm like in the middle of scene one. It's called Death Moon. And it's going to have a lot more action to it than Sky Dark had. It's going to be a lot more weirdness going on, a lot more. It's going to be a bit faster paced than Skydark was. Skydark was going to was always going to be a dry run. I just wanted to see if I could pull something off, do this, and then I let the story get a hold of me and take me off in different directions. And next thing you know, the sucker is almost two hours long. Oh well, speaking of this, two hours long. Let's end this video, okay? So everybody, take care. Ta ta. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you on the flip side, Doctor Freedom. Around.